What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Harry on your face, and welcome to a game called The Park. I think it's some sort of horror game. In my heart and, and mind, oh, I always dialogue. return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of horror game. And, hello? Is that me? Where's Mr. Bear? Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. I'm sorry, you little shit. There is no Mr. Bear. Not loud. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. And that we're right in. The water is really nice. Nice water. Oh god, the sensitivity is like down. Way down. Okay. Now we're ready. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Okay. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Uh, what's over there? Oh, God. I'm playing a full screen, which is like a really big screen. It's 1080p, and it's scary. Because I have to, like, look all around to get the full field of view. Calum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to affect all those who follow after. Okay. Awesome. It's still not sensitive enough. <laughs> God, God damn it. Oh, that's because I didn't save the sensitivity. That makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Setting saved. Continue game. Why is mouse here? Go away, mouse. Okay, that's a bit better. Hello? Oh, hello. Hello, sir. What? What? Uh. Yeah, things. The first. Uh, hey, okay. The slang talk. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll oh. unlock the gates for you. Yay! 10 out of 10. Okay. Yeah, so like the first thing that it said when the, it was loading, it was like the, the audio may alter and the visuals may alter, and so may your sanity. So. Callum, I told you to wait in the car! Over here! Why over here? Read flyer. Chad the shipmunk recommends for the little ones, uh, bollocks. Okay. Let me. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. This way. Let's go to fuck. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Oh my god, I'm floating. Drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, whimsy. the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other. Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Man, shit's getting deep. Oh god. That does not look safe. What the fuck? Yay, it's night time. Awesome. My favorite time. Okay, Callum, I see you over the there, park. you little shit. The park. What happened here? Toggle running. Callum, where did you go? I catch you, you little shit. Come back. You're right there. How is an adult? I hear things. Here, come back. Stop! Kill him! Oh, fuck. Why is everything getting off of fucking dodgy? It's beautiful, though. The fucking graphics are amazing. Ooh, plans. Oh, I must have run out of, um... Breath. I see. Don't hide 
for me, Callum. Come on, mommy. Where the fuck are you? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way, mommy. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Okay. Nice shoe. Where did you go? Over here. Examine plaque. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad, Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job and Chad will die a useless slob. Okay, that's nice. Brilliant place for children. What's that? Handwritten note. What is this about? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pit and semi ad. Whatever old Archive Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. Okay. Okay. I, you can pause and read that if you want to. Getting along with things. What the fuck? I thought I could interact with something there. It's very unnerving not being able to turn fast. Because people can turn their heads fast in real life, so, um. I, I need that. Why is it no saving? I want. Like, up. Irish. Apply. Continue game. Okay. Yes, that's a bit better. Ah. The scenery is very nice. Stop! Callum! Over here! Callum, stay where you are! Callum, where the fuck are I'm you? not playing anymore, Callum. Oh, oh, he's on the boat. The little shit. Let me on! Um, on, am I allowed on? Stop. Okay, looks like we're going on the right. Stop. There we go. Right, Swan. Oh, yay. It's all fucking eerie at night time. Oh, God. I don't like the sound of this. Callum, where are you? Where are you? Callum! Stop being a little shit and come back. Hello? It's very pretty though. Nice, nice reflection. There must be lights in the water or some shit. Callum, where did you go? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter. Okay. And his two children. That's fucking a weird. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Greta. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Bite or sup. Cut up. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We Not will take notion. the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and the abandon fuck? them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, um. you fool. Um, Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept like out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Yeah. And he laid them down and all that good things. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Oh no. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. Oh. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Okay. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Uh -oh. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. 
This all seems very in eerie. The morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread Just waiting for something to happen. Them deep into the forest once again. Yep, something's gonna happen. Callum! Hansel broke his bread into Stop being a little and shit. A trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Ugh. Yeah. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh no. What happened? I'm waiting for a jump scare. I'm ready for it. Not really. Okay. The children stumbled into a clearing. Da, 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 da. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Oh, Hansel, wow. desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Nibbling at on my, my house. house. An old woman emerged from the house, skipping the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Callum. Oh, you dear children. Callum. You here? Just come Stop being a little shit. With me. No harm will come to you. No but harm will come to you. Stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. Two enormous lollipops. took them and began to eat. You see, nothing mm, to okay. fear here. Come inside. The old There's woman. There's free Wi-Fi. And the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Well, fucking... They were stupid children, weren't they? What the fuck? The house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Callum! Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Yay! Time passed, and poor Hansel ah, refused again. to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Oh, Climb no. inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Oh, no. The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Oh, Gretel no. slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Oh, the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, well, there's loads of people. Divided up the body of the oh, old no, it's witch not. It's pillars. and <laughs> ate her. Never mind. Wow, the children are very fucking deranged, aren't they? Callum. Callum, Callum. What the fuck? Go away, Swan. No. Okay. That Swan's a bit fucking insane, to be honest. Callum. Callum, now here. Come here to fuck. Oh, fuck you, Swan. I don't trust you anymore. I want to get off. Let me off. Okay, awesome. 
Thank fuck. Go away, son. Callum! Okay. Callum! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. Oh no. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking yes. for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Uh, good to know. Fucking dodgy times. Hello. I don't really want to, you fucking weirdo. You're making weird fucking noises, to be honest. Oh. Another accident. This place. Despite constant interruptions, but uh, okay, I'm not going to read that because I don't like the fucking noise that's making. Close the door. No, don't close the door. Brilliant. Hello. Stop making weird fucking. Oh, Ferris wheel. Hello, Ferris wheel. I see you over there. What the fuck? Callum, where did you go? This way, Mom. Stop fucking whispering like that, you little shit. Fucking creep me out, so you are. Stop hiding, Callum. Oh, another Hello? ride. Yay. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Mm -hmm. Stay where you are. Please, Callum, tell oh, me where you are. Fucking. This old thing used to make thing. the blood run to my head. Used to make me dizzy. Examine report. What the fuck? The guy just snapped. Wait Those for a turn on the kids. ride, Frank. Me and the boys, this fellow in the chipmunk suit, is making a nice carving while people took photographs. Okay. No, so, but I'm going berserk and he's fucking insane. Awesome. Callum, where did you go? Are you on this, you little crap? Where are you? Hey, fuck you so. If you're on this thing, you're just staying here. What the fuck is the talking? Hello? Increase speed. Increase speed. Increase speed. Increase speed. Where in the fuck? Hey! Is it gonna break? Okay. Decrease speed, so. Stop. There we go. Looks like it's stopping. Right, Dr. Trump. I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. Come on. Stop moving. Fucking. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh my god, it's not moving that much. Look, decrease speed. There we go. So how am I riding it? Who the fuck is in the thing? What the fuck was that? Wee! Wee! Who are you? Oh god, dodgy shit's happening. Oh god. I don't like that noise. Oh my fuck, what was that? Hello? You're a creepy fucking bastard, aren't you? Oh, he's gone. Good to know. Not gonna fucking ride the Octatron ever again. Um, how does one... Oh, there we go. Wait for mommy. Is that my Polaroid? Oh, I 
remember this. She looks absolutely fucking deranged. Oh, there's a creepy dude in the background. But yeah, she looks like um she's not ready for life. She's like, why? Why me? Oh, she's taking a shit. One of those two. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. Treachery the first hides. Time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled red bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real. Oh, so there. There's some and shit so happening in there. Expectations. I'm not going in there. And they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. Callum. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed. Stay away from that place. A single traitorous thought. There's a weird fucking looking thing. Kinda looks cool too. I'm afraid to go near it in case it comes alive, but hey. Fuck it. Cool. Wait, Callum! Catch me, mommy. Oh, come back, you little shit, will you? Oh, bumper cars. I don't want to know what some freaky shit's gonna be happening at this, but. In 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Um Yeah, it's mine, let me on. Uh, can I come in? Do we go in over here? I do. Yay. How do I turn it on? Let me in. I want to get in on one. Callum? Where are you? I'm confused as shit, to be honest. Let's just go over here. Oh, cool! Callum, come back here right now. I want to get in that one. Time and incidental report. Time and date during the transport of bumper cars into the arena. One of the straps attaching the load of, to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, standing directly. Oh, directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Yes. Wow. Okay. What the fuck? No! Okay then. Callum? Callum? What the fuck? Stay where you are. Why is there a baby screaming over here? Baby? Wow, do I have to go up there? I am... Um, I do not want to do that. Uh, that looks scary. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave this next part for the next episode. I think it's a short enough game. I don't think it's massively long. I'd say it's like two hours long from what I've heard. So I'm going to probably break it up into a few shorter episodes and see how it goes from there. But yeah, it seems very, very creepy. I don't even know what the fuck's happening. Some major shit's going down in this park. But we will try and find a little shit of one that ran off and see where we go in the next episode. But thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>